Hi, I'm Jay Ferguson, and welcome to the Class of 2020 Senior Award Ceremonies. You know, it's such a great time of the year to recognize our seniors and all of their wonderful accomplishments. And here at Grace, one of our core values is life is worship. And so we also want to take this time to give praise to our God, who is the giver of all good things, the giver of our seniors, and give praise to Him for their works as well. So join us tonight as we give thanks to God and recognize our seniors. Let's begin with prayer. Father God, thank you for our time together. Thank you for the gift of our children, the gift of our seniors and all of their hard work. Thank you for your gifts and thank you for making it possible. We love you and we lift all of these things up to you. In your son's name we pray, amen. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 has attended GCS for 14 years, is a member of the National Honor Society, and has participated in student government and young Republicans. As a member of the Student Board of Directors for Texas Bank and Trust, a life group leader and athletic trainer, she has served her school and community with more than 480 service hours. She has participated in the arts all four years and placed in state competition multiple times. Earning the second highest cumulative grade average in this class, this individual will be attending Texas A&M University to study business finance. I am proud to announce this year's salutatorian is Miss Victoria Starr. I've worked really, really hard and I'm really, really proud of you, darling. And it is my distinct pleasure and honor to name you Victoria Starr, <laughs> salutatorian of the 2020 class of Grace Community. Way to go, <laughs> Very, Thank very you. proud of you. Very proud. Thank you so that much. That is outstanding work. That is very, very hard. You did a great job. <laughs> Let them come up here and give you a hug. Get that on the video. It's, that's definitely video worthy. <laughs> Everybody say how proud they are. <laughs> it's very sweet. The smartest star. <laughs> What'd you say? The smartest star kid. I know. I know. It's it's embarrassing when your brothers don't. <laughs> The valedictorian for the class of 2020 has also attended GCS for 14 years, has accumulated numerous academic awards, and has served in multiple leadership positions over the past four years as a member of student government, young Republicans, Cougar ambassadors, and National Honor Society. This individual's gifts, passions, involvement, and leadership ability has been recognized by the Daughters of the American Revolution as the County and State Good Citizen Scholarship recipient. This individual has a tremendous heart for others, evidenced by her service through life groups and the Kenyan Girls Ministry. Earning the highest accumulative grade in this class, our valedictorian of the class of 2020 is the recipient of the State of Texas tuition waiver to public colleges and universities covering full tuition to any four-year state university for their freshman year. This individual will be attending Texas A&M University to major in architecture and will pursue her master's in architecture as well. I am proud to announce this year's valedictorian is Miss Kate Holbrook. Oh, hey, Kate. Kate, Mr. Ferguson's asking for you. It's actually Dr. Ferguson. Uh, this is scary. Dad, that's... No, wait. Dr. Ferguson is at the door. And the whole family. Kate Holbrook. What do you think I have in this solo bag? Shout out to Mr. Davis. I really don't know. Why don't you come? Uh, why don't you come talk to me? Okay. Morning buns. I like food. Morning buns. Kate Holbrook, it gives me great honor to award you as valedictorian. <laughs> we have not. We have not been practicing social distancing this whole time. Give him a hug and then I have a couple. 
She's so smart! The smartest class of 2020! This is your this is your this is your honor graduate certificate. And this is actually this is your certificate, and this is actually more an award for your daddy than for you. This designates you as the highest ranking can uh, graduate at Grace Community, and this is what you present to Texas A&M University <laughs> to get all your money. That's actually a present for daddy. Oh, no. <laughs>Hi, I'm Jeff Shelton. I'm the Fine Arts Director here at Grace Community School. I have the honor today of presenting our High School Fine Arts Cougar Awards. The Cougar Awards are the highest individual honor given by the Fine Arts Department here at Grace. While our teachers in the various arts areas award students within their disciplines with individual awards for excellence or, or their achievements, uh, the, the Cougar Award is an overall recognition given by the entire fine arts staff. Nominees for the Cougar Award are considered based on the excellence in the performance or the art that they create, also character, leadership, perseverance, their work ethic, and an overall attitude befitting a follower of Christ. Each year a Cougar Award is presented to a female and a male student, usually seniors, and, and that is the case this year. I'd like to start by recognizing three female Cougar Award nominees. Uh, these three ladies have done an outstanding job in one or more fine arts areas at the school and we are so very proud of them. Our nominees for this year are Sarah Beth Wallace, Savannah Castleberry, and Ellen Ferguson. Ladies, thank you so much. You have made an outstanding contribution to the fine arts program here at Grace. We are proud of you and we love you. The recipient of this year's female Cougar Award is Miss Cindy Yen. Cindy, on behalf of the fine arts department here at Grace Community School, we'd like to present you with the 2019-2020 female Cougar Award for Fine Arts and uh, just express our appreciation for all the great work you've done here. Congratulations. Our male Fine Arts Cougar Award nominees this year are Mr. Cameron Mitchell and Mr. Dylan James. As we deliberated and tried to make a decision we really couldn't come to a consensus on these two guys because they've, they've both been so outstanding. Therefore, we've made the decision this year that both gentlemen will be receiving a Fine Arts Cougar Award. So Cameron and Dylan, congratulations and thank you for your contribution to our Fine Arts program here at Grace. We love you all, we appreciate you, and we are proud of you. Thank you. Dylan, on behalf of our Fine Arts Department here at Grace, I'd like to congratulate you on being one of our 2019-2020 Grace Community High School Fine Arts Cougar Award winners. Congratulations and thank you for all the great work you've done on behalf of the Fine Arts Department here. Congratulations. Thank you. Cameron, on behalf of our Fine Arts Department here at Grace, I would like to present you with the 2019-2020 Grace Community High School Fine Arts Cougar Award. And uh, thank you very much for the great job you've done in our fine arts program here in high school. We're very, very proud of you. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Joseph Walker and I'm the Director of Athletics at Grace Community School. I'm here to present the Senior Athletic Awards. The first athletic award is the Athlete of the Year. The Athlete of the Year award is given to a junior or senior based on participation in multiple sports, recognition of athletic achievement, exhibited leadership, work ethic, and commitment. The nominees for our Female Athlete of the Year are Hadley Brewer, Alana Roberts, Rebecca Sutton, Kenley Kaiser, 
Sheldon Furquan, and Anna Olson. And our Female Athlete of the Year is Ms. Rebecca Sutton. Rebecca is a four-year all-district player in volleyball and a three-year all-district player in soccer. She has academic all-state honors from the past two years in both sports, as well as being named all-state in volleyball. She has been a perennial leader for both teams. Congratulations, Rebecca. And now for our Male Athlete of the Year. The nominees for Male Athlete of the Year are Brooks Bays, Jonathan Murphy, Alvin Skipworth, Joshua Murray, Jeremiah Milton, Luke Smith, and Price Williams. And our Male Athlete of the Year is Mr. Luke Smith. Luke has been a three-sport athlete this year, an all-district player in football, a basketball starter, and had a promising senior track season cut short. He made significant contributions to all three teams while maintaining an excellent GPA. He provides good leadership in the classroom and for his teams on the field. Congratulations, Luke. Hello. All right, well, we're here with Luke Smith, who is our Cougar Male Athlete of the Year. Oh, we're going to present this to him. So we're excited to present this to you, Luke. Congratulations. Turn this around where everybody can see it. All right. Congratulations, Luke. Thank you. That is awesome. And our final award is the Cougar Award. The Cougar Award is given to a junior or senior based on participation in multiple sports, recognition of athletic achievement, exhibited leadership, academic achievement, community service, Christian character qualities, work ethic, and commitment. The nominees for our male Cougar Award are Britton Anderson, Luke Jens, Jonathan Murphy, Luke Smith, and Jake Tanner. And our male Cougar Award winner is Mr. Jonathan Murphy. Jonathan was an all-district goalkeeper for the soccer team and a leader on the golf team for Grace, though his senior season was cut short. Jonathan was chosen for this highest award because of his work ethic, his commitment to his fellow teammates, his character, and his active leadership. Congratulations, Jonathan. So we're here with Jonathan Murphy. You got it? Mm -hmm. Who is our male Cougar Award winner for the year this year? I want to congratulate Jonathan. So, that's what you weren't expecting this? I was not expecting this at all, as you can tell. The great camera smile. What? Jonathan? Here at Grace, we have very special senior awards. We call these the Legacy Awards. These awards are being given as a way to help remember people who led Grace Community School in its formative years as it became recognized nationally for its commitment to excellence and in honor of two students who symbolized that excellence. It is my pleasure today to introduce Ashley Prothrow Trant to you. Ashley was a member of Grace's graduating class, the second class, the class of 2000. She was involved in every aspect of the school, including cheerleading, student government, academic competition, and community service. Ashley was particularly known for her approach to excellence. She didn't do anything halfway. She had many friends into whom she invested a lot of energy and time and love. Hebrews 3.13 was her life verse but encourage one another daily. And she took that seriously as a quest to encourage all those she cared about. After graduating as salutatorian in the class of 2000, Ashley went on to Texas A&M. She graduated in three and a half years with a degree in biomedical engineering and a 4.0 GPA. But the achievement she was most proud of was being the wife of Travis Trant a fellow Aggie who had also attended Grace Community. Ashley became a full-time wife and best friend to Travis and a mother to Eamon, Garrett, Cody, and Anna Claire. Her same desire for excellence continued to be obvious 
to everyone who spent time with her remarkable family. Ashley was only 31 years old when God suddenly called her home. She left many, many friends and family members who loved her and her zest for life. Today, rather than being sad, we want to honor the memory of Ashley Prothrow Trant and her passion for excellence. Therefore, we would also like to recognize a young woman from the class of 2020 who is a shining example of excellence in every part of her life. Please join me in congratulating Cindy Yen. The next award is in honor of Jeremy Kirsch. Jeremy Kirsch was a member of Grace's class of 2004. In high school, he excelled in academics. He was part of the famous AP calculus class known as the Piranhas, where all six members of the class set as a goal that everyone would achieve a five on the AP calculus exam at the end of the year. And they did it, six perfect fives. Jeremy also participated in academic competitions while he was in high school. He completed and competed in various TAPS competitions as well as TJC's all math competition where he helped his team earn championship scores. Jeremy was also known as an avid soccer player and participated on the varsity Cougar soccer team in all four of his high school years. Jeremy was known as a hard worker in whatever he did, and he was a dependable and loyal friend. After graduating from Grace, Jeremy also attended Texas A&M University, where he continued his reputation for excellence as he majored in engineering. It was just before his graduation that he passed into eternity. It is in memory of Jeremy Kirsch and his desire for excellence that this award is given in his name. Please join me in congratulating another young man of excellence, Mr. Josh Clenny. Our next award is in honor of Sue Johnson, a truly gracious woman Sue Johnson faithfully served for 31 years to further the cause of Christ at Grace Community School. First as a teacher, then as a principal, Sue led the elementary school with wisdom, grace, and godliness. I always lovingly called her a velvet brick, a woman of always fair and just character, but steely resolve clothed in diplomacy grace and love. Her teachers loved her dearly and were fiercely loyal to her as she was to them. She made a tremendous impact on our elementary and if you were at elementary as a student, each of you was blessed by her loving service to you and to your teachers. Many of the teachers who served you were hired and discipled by Sue. Her investment in your life and in the lives of many young families will have an eternal impact for generations to come. This year's recipient of the Sue Johnson Award is also known as a servant leader. Please join me in congratulating Rebecca Sutton. Our final Legacy Award is named in honor of Mr. Jerry Burgess. For 30 years, Jerry Burgess advanced Christ's kingdom through Christian education at Grace Community School. Jerry embodied humble servant leadership. He never wanted to be the center of attention, and yet he was always willing to sacrifice himself to serve well. His humility was evident in his farewell address as head of school at Grace when he compared himself to a turtle on a fence post. You know that the turtle has reached this great height, but he had a lot of help to get there. God used Jerry's unpretentious leadership and faithfulness to steer this school through its darkest days and to preside over its most dramatic growth. 
There is no appreciation we can give these leaders more profound than to each year honor a young man who embodies the character that made them great. The Jerry Burgess Leadership Award goes to a young man who is also known as a strong, humble leader among his peers. Please join me in congratulating Luke Smith. We are so proud of the time and effort the class of 2020 has invested in the college application process. This class submitted over 225 applications to 90 different colleges and universities. The students have spent countless hours researching colleges, submitting applications, and applying for scholarships. A sample of scholarships these students have received include distinguished scholars, university scholars, honors college scholars, presidential scholars, and dean's awards. We are excited to announce the class of 2020 has been offered over $5.2 million in scholarships. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition for recognition and scholarships that began in 1955. High school students enter the National Merit Program by taking the PSAT during their junior year of high school. Over 1.6 million juniors take the PSAT each year nationwide, and the 50,000 students who score the highest qualify for recognition in the National Merit Scholarship Program. Of these, 50,000 students are selected as commended students, a fewer number are selected as semifinalists, and an even fewer number are selected as finalists in this highly competitive program. To date, the National Merit Scholarship Program has recognized 42 Grace students as commended students, 14 students as semifinalists, and 12 students as finalists. It is my privilege to announce that from the class of 2020, Ashley Haygood has been recognized as a commended student. Ashley's name will be added to the other names on the National Merit plaque in the high school hallway. Congratulations, Ashley. Now we desire to recognize those seniors who have worked diligently all four years of high school and have earned academic honors. While all of these honor graduates will be recognized with cords, those students who are graduating with a distinguished honors diploma will also receive a stole to be worn at commencement along with their honor cords. Students who have maintained a cumulative grade average of 93 to 95 over all four years of high school and are graduating with honors are known as cum laude. The level of academic achievement is recognized by white cords worn at commencement. Students who have maintained a cumulative average of 96 to 98 over all four years of high school and are graduating with high honors are known as graduating magna cum laude. The high level of academic achievement is recognized by white and blue cords worn at commencement. Students who have maintained a cumulative grade average of 98 and higher over all four years of high school and are graduating with highest honors are known as graduating summa cum laude. The highest level of academic achievement is recognized by white, blue, and black cords worn at commencement. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the opportunity to uh, honor our seniors and also give praise to our God who is the giver of all good things. We look forward to seeing you at commencement and look forward to our time together celebrating the class of 2020. Have a good evening. Thank you so much.